Thank you very much for this opportunity to present uh, one last talk to uh, GGOS days on uh, the geohazards focus area. And in this uh, brief presentation, I want to uh, discuss the achievements of the geohazards focus area and allude uh, somewhat to uh, its future, if you agree. Uh, geodesy and GNSS in particular has a vital role to play in environmental monitoring and disaster risk reduction, and which I believe it's already beginning to uh, fill uh, that role to some extent. I've named this, uh, uh, this talk the Oceana Geospatial Observatory for that very reason. Uh, for its role in environmental monitoring and disaster risk reduction. One of the focuses of uh, the geohazards focus area has been a GNSS tsunami early warning. For my part, I believe uh, that this is an essential capability, not only because it provides capabilities that are not available uh, via other measurement systems. It's cost effective. It can be utilized by uh, the poorest of countries, and yet um, it's not being developed. And therefore, we really need to focus our, cap our, our uh, resources in developing that capability. I made a presentation in 2012 to the GRC, the IUGG uh, Geo Risk Commission, uh, and uh, we talked considerably about the uh, most recent uh, tsunamis, both in the Indian Ocean and Tohoku in Japan. And uh, the talk was very well received. And, so much so that I was later uh, named chair to uh, the GRC. And I found that being both uh, lead of uh, the geohazards focus area and chair of the GRC provided great benefits in uh, moving forward on uh, these initiatives. In 2015, for example, we approached the IUGG General Assembly and recommended resolution number four, which called on its membership to support the development of the Indo-Pacific effort to implement uh, G2s. In 2016, the Geohazards Focus Area uh, worked with, uh, worked with uh, the executive group uh, to uh, issue a call for participation uh, in uh, G2s uh, and its support for resolution number four. Today, that organization numbers 18 organizations from 12 nations. And in fact, that working group was uh, very important to uh, the development of the G2's 2017 workshop held in Sendai, Japan. We were joined by NASA that provided uh, support, financial support, uh, the Association of Pacific Rim Universities, and the GRC, and Tohoku University. Uh, a report was later published by the office of uh, the UN Office of Disaster Risk Reduction in its GAR 2019 report which is available online unfortunately uh, as noted in the 2017 workshop report uh, the uh, Western Pacific is reticent to do the kind of access, to provide the kind of access 
to its real-time GNSS measurements, networks, and analysis that um, is essential for uh, real-time uh, early warning. And therefore, we uh, sought to uh, develop other capabilities or uh, develop uh, communities that might provide a uh, model for the development of G2s in the Western Pacific. We went, therefore, through the GRC and issued a G2s Oceana Initiative. Oceana is a very large uh, group of uh, 14 nations and three uh, territorial nations uh, that um, um, occupy the Central Pacific uh, Island nations, and it provides an opportunity to both monitor uh, the uh, environment within uh, the Southern Central Pacific and also to develop a real-time GNSS network. Uh, we have been engaged in monthly, in monthly uh, meetings, uh, telecons. We've received funding from the GRC to support uh, uh, its, uh, a workshop which we uh, are planning to hold uh, beginning uh, the first half of next year in Suva. We've identified receivers uh, for upgrades and receivers that could possibly be installed, two of which by Tim Melbourne already in Tonga. Uh, and we are uh, questioning now whether uh, we should rather than simply focusing on G2s, perhaps we need to broaden the objectives uh, to environmental monitoring and disaster risk reduction within this Oceana capability. It would involve both science and disaster risk reduction. The question is, how do we get funding? And uh, the objective right now, I think, is to provide a cloud-based capability uh, that would allow all nations to participate in the analysis and access to the data. We'll see whether uh, the 14 nations of this group agree to that capability. Lastly, uh, I am retiring, or I, I have retired from uh, the focus uh, area position. I would like to recommend uh, that uh, the geohazards uh, focus area continue. It's essential to promoting GNSS uh, uh, disaster risk reduction capabilities and environmental monitoring. I therefore nominate Tim Milburn from Central Washington University as the next lead. I hope you will agree. Uh, Tim has amply demonstrated his ability to man a, a large group through the Pango Array and while maintaining a strong academic and technical profile, Tim and I agree, as do many others, on uh, the uh, importance of mesoscale density GNSS networks for monitoring the environment and providing disaster risk reduction. Tim is an is active in the development of G2 Zoceana and he will get results. And therefore, thank you very much. It's been a wonderful experience uh, serving as lead of the Geohazards Focus Area and I wish you all a, uh, a very strong and productive future.